Hey guys, Donna McGuinn here. I wanted to come and make this video for you all because Athenco has released a new version of the Pro version of their theme. So instead of it being named X Pro, it is now being called Pro. And this means that you guys have to do a few manual changes um, to your current X Pro theme on your website. So you're going to go ahead and start and navigate to your dashboard on Athenco's website. And you're going to download the newest version of Pro which has been released on May 9th and it's 1.1.0 so you can go ahead and just download that there and then once you get that downloaded you're going to navigate over to your website and you can see that I have XPro installed here uh, as well as an XPro child theme so what we're going to do here is we're going to go to appearance and we're going to hit add new we're also going to go ahead and click upload a theme and from there we're just going to go ahead and drag that and we're going to find that in our downloads called Pro 1 and we're going to go ahead and install that so we're going to install this as a new theme per theme codes instructions and this should always be done on a staging site or a development site you should not do these kind of changes on a live site so once you've uploaded your file, you're going to go ahead and click Activate. So you should see the word Pro up at the top left hand underneath the dashboard instead of it saying X or X Pro. Uh, your installed version should be 1.1.0 and over here it says Pro instead of X Pro. So you should see that change as well. If your site is not validated, for some reason that it, it's broken, ThemeCo has pushed an update for that as well. Just go ahead back into your ThemeCo dashboard and you're going to, um, if need be, copy and paste your URL into your uh, API key production server space and then copy and paste your license key into the spot right here that it normally is that where it asks for it and just go ahead and validate it. From there, we're going to need to update our child theme. So we're going to go back to themes. And right now you see that it's Pro. And right now we have X Pro here and we have our X Pro child theme here. So let's go ahead to our editor for the theme. And we're going to navigate on the right hand side to the X Pro child theme. And we're going to click select. From here, all you're going to do right here inside of the style.css you're going to change the template from X Pro to just Pro. Uh, you're more than welcome to rename this theme name to just Pro child theme. It does not make a difference at all. But if you want it to look good you can do that. So once you made this main change and if you make these other two changes go ahead and update the file. Once the file is updated, go ahead back to your themes. And so you have the main uh, theme activated right now. We're going to go ahead and we're going to click on activate for the pro child theme. So one is the, once that is activated, it will bring you back to the theme code dashboard. And you can verify everything is activated by going back to your themes page. And then you can verify that it's activated right here on the Pro Child theme. And at this point in time, you're safe to delete the X Pro version um, of whatever version you are running. It's a great idea to always check your website before deleting it. I don't have anything on this website. This is just a development site. Um, so I'm not really worried about anything on here, but it's always a great idea to check to make sure that your site looks fine before deleting anything. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this version of X Pro and click OK. So from there, we are all good to go. If you guys have any questions or need any support, visit ThemeCo uh, support forum. They will be more than happy to help you. If you need a uh, quick, fast service, um, someone in the Facebook group would be more than happy to help you guys. Hope you guys have a great day. Thanks.